come for communal labor just this morning. Today is Saturday and we, we called most of the congregation to come for uh, communal labor. But right now the number here is not encouraging but we can go through whatever you have done with you. So we'll we have we have already uh, constructed these two buildings for our nursery, the nursery one and nursery two. This is the first gate, the nursery one. And this is the nursery two. This is the new building that you came to help us in building. I can't remember when you came, you helped us in building the stone. So we have constructed this one. This is the first room of the tray that we have already constructed. As you can see, the, the veranda is has been prepared, is laid, and the room, and the room we have also finished with the room there. The, the, the down part of the room. As you can see, the plastering of the room, we have financial constraint. So because of that, we have not been able to plaster the room. The medicine said we need to wire, we need to make some, uh, fix some problems over here before we can plaster the room. So we have been able to construct the blackboard and this room is set for now, it is set for learning. People can come in here and learn. So we use this room as KG2. We use this room as KG2. Now we can go to the other room for what we have done so far. This is the second room or the third room that we have been constructing. The second room too is similar to the it is similar to the first room. The floor is made, the blackboard has been constructed, and this place is also set for uh, is set for learning. As you can see, people have their text over here. We have the teachers' chair over here, so it's also set for construction. But as I already said, the the plastering of the room, we have run out of money and for now, you will leave it and for further thing. Let's go to the next room. This room, as we are moving out, is the BS1 room. Now when we come to the BS2, we come to the BS2, it's also the same thing. The floor is being made, we have the blackboard, and this room also is set for is set for learning. As you can see, people are seriously working. People are seriously working. As I, I already said, today has been set for communal labor. So you can see people are seriously working over here. We have most of our things secured, but so we say that Oliver Quest asks for more. Let's go to the washroom and see whatever you have done over there so far. Let's go to the washroom. This is the washroom, the washroom that you be using when you come around. This is the washroom, and you can see that it has been rehabilitated or it has been improved. Whatever you left here is not the same. Right now, the plastering is set. We have plastered everywhere, but we need to do some work over here to complete the work. And we need to have two gates. We need to have two gates to complete this one. And when we come inside, the inner part of the washroom, we have 
there, there, we have seven rooms made of three for female, four for male. And out of the seven rooms, everywhere has been plastered. From here, we will move to uh, the equipment that we have bought, or the maze, the basin and the water closet, whatever we have bought. We will show you all those things. In fact, we appreciate whatever you have done for us. Your money has been helping us a lot. Without your money, you, we, we wouldn't have come all this far. This, this is the molding. This is the molding that we will be using to fix the windows. This is the molding that we will be using to fix the windows. As you can see, the moldings have been spread and the plumber, the plumber has come around to fix whatever is necessary to be fixed. As you can see, there is the water closet, the, the, the exit of the water closet. And these are, this, these are some of the uh, equipment of the wash room. Everything is set. Everything is set. Right now, we only need, or we only signal the uh, the plumber to come and fix every, uh, whatever it needs to be fixed. So let's go to the back of the washroom where we have the septic and and see whatever we have done so far. This is the back of the washroom and. We have been able to take down, we have take down 10, 10 feet of hole. And right now, as you can see, this is, the, the, we, we divided it into three. This is the first part of the septic. This is the second part of the septic. And this is the third part this is the third part of the septic due to loss of energy we couldn't finish plastering the third part of the septic but we hope to continue on today yesterday is yesterday that we completed the first two so we hope to finish it today and the next thing that we do from here is to cover the whole septic so that we can we can see that the te uh, the septic aspect is over then we will move on to whatever we have to do right now as i've already said we are financial constrained and we only depend on your financial support we can we we, sh we should go to let's go to the uh, to the church house to see whatever equipment that we have bought for the washroom so that it will be an effort. So we are moving to the top of the building. But not forgetting, we still have your tank over here. Yes, this is the tank that we bought with the help of your money. So we have a tank over here. We are in the church house. We are in the church house. So let's move up to the top where we have put these are some of the pipes these are some of the pipes that we have put for the for the washroom and the tank when you finish with the uh, introduction of the uh, equipment to the washroom you will move up to the tank what we have done so far with the tank so these are the pipes we bought some cement and these are what left. These are what are left. The cement. We bought over 100, over 100, and we even bought additional 50. The cement work is killing us. You see, Ghanaians, every day there is an increment in most of our materials. So this cement is killing us. Let's go to the top. 
we are moving to the top of the church house where the equipment or where the materials of the uh, washroom have been kept. We kept them over here because we anticipated that these materials could be stolen as we have a record of most of our things being stolen by robbers. So for this area, it is hardly for any team to come here. Let's go. This, this is the room. This is the room where we kept or we keep most of our important things. So, welcome to the room. As it is well witnessed, we have six sets of water closets. This is where the water is stored. This is one part. This is where we sit on. This is the main water closet where we sit on. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six of the water closets. Then we have most of the plumber materials over here. We have used most of them. The plumber has come to fix some of them underground to test to test of the work of the plumber has been made, has already been made. So, as we said, this is the main room that we keep most of our things. So we have some of the things, uh, some of the used clothes here and whatever. So we appreciate whatever you have done for us and we, we again ask for more. We hope that what we have sent to you, 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 you capitalize on it and give us more of your support. Right now, the caretaker and the steward is not here. So we are in charge of whatever that we are doing. If you can recognize me, I am George. I am George. The, the choir leader, yes, I'm George, and most of the people are working downstairs. But we will move on with the tank, whatever you have done with the tank, then what we are, we are about to do with the fence wall. So let's go downstairs. This is the main gate of the church, and we have been able to for the fence wall. As you can see, the fence wall, the, the pit is created. Today, we are going to fill in mortar. Concrete. So that, concrete. Concrete. So that next, next week, we start with the construction of the fence wall. We are doing this to protect the people in the school. To the fence wall, we have it over here. This is the line. This is the line of the fence wall. We have the line around this place, and it goes up. It goes up. It goes up. So, helping us a lot so we are getting most of our water from this bubble and this is saving us some money for other things we are still on the 
defense wall. There is the tank, the pillar. The pillar of the tank. So, in no time, we are going to put the uh, poly tank on this tank so that we start using the water. Okay, cool so, let us go to where the other police are waiting. Ah. <laughs> so, as we started, people are seriously working and we are ready. We are waiting for the mercy to direct us on whatever we need to do. We will meet you in a few Thank you. <laughs> Take a side. George. George. I want to answer. 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 Mixing the concrete for the for the uh, fence floor. Okay. 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 So as you can see, the work is ongoing. This is one of the main busy at work. We are filling the pit with concrete so that we can start with our wall. So let's go and let's continue with the septic. Let's continue with the septic. The senior mason is within the septic. Have a steward over here. Our steward is here. We have our steward over here. And there is our organist, Mr. Ousuenchi William. Mr. Ousuenchi, say something to your friends. <laughs> say something, say something. We are at work. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Ousuenchi. <laughs> 